House with a Clock in Its Walls is a new fantasy film starring Jack Black and Kate Blanchett. It's a story of Lewis who loses his parents in a car crash, so he's sent to go live with his uncle, played by Jack Black, and he soon finds out that his uncle is a warlock, he knows lots of magic, so of course Lewis wants to find out how to be a warlock too, so now let the magic ensue. Honestly, I wasn't planning on going to see this film whatsoever, I was going to completely skip it, had no interest in seeing it, but they were doing advanced previews of it today, so I thought I'd go watch it, give you guys some early thoughts, and the film was pretty much exactly what I thought it was going to be when I saw the trailer. It played out and unfolded exactly how I thought it was going to, beat for beat for beat for beat. But I'm not going to complain about that too much because this is a family film. Kids are going to go watch it and they're not going to care about the predictability and the cliches. They're just going to want to see some cool magic stuff and the film does have some cool magic stuff. What I liked about the film the most was the tone. It had like a really cool, magical, kind of mysterious kind of tone. Like that's one of the things about the trailer that did appeal to me. It had that mysterious music and tone about it and thankfully that tone does carry over to the film itself. There are a couple of scenes where they're walking through the house and they can hear some things and they see some magical things and the musical score in the background amplifying the magic of it all and the mystery of it all. I really dug it. The cast of the film are quite good as well. I like Jack Black in the film. He's like the best uncle ever. He has like no rules. He doesn't care what time the kid goes to bed. He doesn't care what the kid eats for breakfast, lunch or dinner. He's just like the dream uncle with magic. So yeah, the dream uncle. Kate Blanchett was pretty much the best part of the film. She plays a witch who lives next door to Jack Black. She's a good witch, by the way, not evil, cackling witch. And you can tell that Kate Blanchett had fun playing this part. She gets to do a couple of funny things in the film. Like, I'm not going to spoil the context of this part, but she headbutts a pumpkin, like a demonic, possessed zombie pumpkin who's trying to eat her. That part made me laugh because it was Kate Blanchett headbutting the pumpkin. And strangely enough, I've kind of always wanted to see that, and I got to see it in the house with a clock in its walls. And the main kid was serviceable in the film as well. He's a pretty generic kid character for one of these kind of films. But for what he has to do in the film, he did a good job. There's some emotional stuff he has to do later on, which he actually did a pretty good job at. So everyone in the cast was good. They all did good jobs. Big thumbs up. There's really not too much to talk about with this film. I mean, like I said, you see the trailer, you know the film. You know exactly how it's going to play out. You know, the main kid, Lewis, he's at school. He's trying to make this friend who's so like, hey, I know some magic come and see this magic and he shows the kid magic and it all goes wrong and you know how that's going to play out with him making friends at school with the magic and he's going to get told off by Jack Black and there's going to be some family drama there it is predictable and cliched as all hell but like I said kids are not going to care they're just going to go watch this film and be entertained by the magic stuff and judging it as a family film the film does do its job kids are going to be entertained by it and the parents are not going to want to shoot themselves in the face because it doesn't have a lot of juvenile humour there are a couple times where it has juvenile toilet humour and I was like, oh, come on, don't start doing that. But the parents will tolerate it. The cast was good in the film. I liked the magical, mysterious tone of the film. The visual effects were quite neat as well. For a family night out of the cinema, you could do worse than House with a Clock in Its Wall. So I'll give the film a 3 out of 5. So whenever you guys get a chance to see this film, tell me in the comments below what you thought about it. And if you want to see more of my stuff, click on one of these in a second. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>